Uh, many of us who tried to crochet boolean stitch know that it's not the easiest stitch to make, especially with one hook only. Uh, I have a, a lesson on uh, how to crochet this stitch using the hook and a needle together. It's easier to crochet with a yarn um, because it's bigger, the hooks are bigger, yarn thicker, and um, you use a tapestry needle which, which is giving a very beautiful results. Also, uh, in my one of my lessons, uh, in the video tutorials, I'm showing how to make this with fine thread and fine hook and still using a needle. And honestly, it is not the easy, uh, easiest way of making this um, stitch, especially to make it so even and beautiful throughout your work. Uh, just recently, I found this hook at Joanne. It's a knit picker. Here it is. I bought another one just in case I will break this one. And um, so you can purchase it. It's a little bit more than six dollars. If you have coupons, uh, it will be even cheaper. So um, you can look for this in the aisle where they have sewing uh, equipment for sewing, not crochet. Um, so uh, I will show you right now how to use this hook, uh, but before we will go into crochet, I want to um, talk about the hook itself. So this hook has um, a little part right here that is moving, and this is the part that actually help us to make the trick to make this stitch uh, beautiful. Um, and also notice that the neck of the hook itself is uh, very different. It is thicker right here where the hook is, then it becomes thinner, and we have this thick part right here. So when we will wrap around the thread over the hook, we will use this part. So wrap thread around the thick part of the hook. This is the trick. I tried it right here, and it's not working this quite the same. So we need this thick part. And when you crochet, I notice that uh, it's easier for me to hold hook as a knife. I'm a pencil grip uh, holder. I hold my hooks like that as a pencil. It's easy for me. This is the way I learned. And it took me time to really used to this kind of crochet. It works good. So um, let's see. I started here, you can make a little circle, a little platform for yourself with single crochet stitches. Try to crochet loose those uh, for this hook. You need, uh, th since it's the thick part right here where the hook is with a little moving latch, um, so you uh, probably crochet this part with a hook number uh, 0 0.9 millimeters or even 1 millimeter that the stitches will be a little bit thicker. Um, it will be easier for you to move hook inside. And um, to start uh, make a turning chain, three or four stitches depends how many, how big and how um, long the stitch you want to make. I uh, pick up four uh, stitches, made a chain of four, and uh, I will use, um, uh, to make uh, my stitch, I will wrap thread around the hook 20 times. So let's put the loop over the, the, ch the stitch on the hook. Turn your hook in such a way that this small part that opening will be down, looking down. And let's crochet. So moving all the way to the handle of the hook, wrap thread around the thick part of the hook 20 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. You can wrap a thread around the hook up to 30, 35 times. Depends on the thread, depends on the um, 
motif you want to make. The finer the thread, the more uh, wrap wrappings you need to make. Uh, so now holding this uh, wraps the coil of thread with your index finger, move it slightly to the end of the hook and insert the hook into the stitch and insert the hook when it's closed. Make sure not to uh, catch any thread. So move it inside. Then with the thread slightly open the hook and grab with the hook the thread. You don't really need to close it because as soon as you move, you see it's already closed, you move it through the stitch, it's automatically closed. And continue moving through the coil. I grab my coil with the left hand and pull thread through. Pull through. Don't worry, when you move your stitch, this part will open and let your stitch move on the hook a little bit higher. Here it is. Now grab again thread with the hook and when you move, I will pu put it this way, you can see, when you move stitch back, the hook is closed and you crochet the last stitch and again you move it to the back. And this is because of moving thread through this hook. This little part will be open, will allow your stitch go further and then you close it and continue your work again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. And again, I'll show you one more time. I go through the same stitch twice, pick up the hook, the, the thread, I'm sorry, and don't go further, just right away. Grab this coil of stitches, all this thread, and allow it to go on the hook and a little bit stretch the height. You decide on the height by pulling on the top a little bit, not very much. Now grab the thread with the hook and move. You see the when you move stitch back on the hook, that little piece is closed and allowing you to move the stitch on the hook. And again <clears throat> very carefully inserting into the stitch and as soon as you got out this is when you grab your and allow it to slide and the height you regulate you want this coil to be tight but not curl because if you make it too tight, it will curl all your stitches. So this is basically how you make this stitch with this hook. If you have more questions, uh, send me an email, irishcrochetlab at gmail.com. And I want to show you a few of my motifs that I was playing yesterday. This is just a little medallion. And I made this uh, a little berry with leaves. Remind me of a berry. Pattern will be written a little bit later for this motifs.